Hey everyone, so today I'm doing a Sephora haul update on my latest purchases from Sephora. And this has been much anticipated because my Sephora haul was literally a month ago. But I picked up a lot of skincare and I really want to be able to like test these things out for you guys and see if I see results or not. And you really do have to wait at least like four weeks to see results for most skincare. So that's kind of why it's a little delayed, but well, worth it. I also have some beauty stuff in here too and I have some big hits and also a lot of stuff that just really like uh, did not work out and is going back to Sephora so if you like Sephora haul updates please let me know by giving me a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already because that'd be amazing my goal is to hit 20,000 subscribers by the end of the year which is a little like um, ambitious but I think we can do it and that would seriously be like the best thing ever but enough talking let's get into this update Alright, so I'm first going to start with the makeup products I picked up because it's just a few things. It's mostly skincare. Uh, but I got two new lip products and I love them both. So the first one is the NARS Power Matte Liquid Lipstick in the shade American Woman. This is going to be like my fall color. I am convinced it is so good. This was in my August favorites and I've been wearing it in videos all the time. And the reason I'm loving this liquid lipstick so much is because it's a little different than other ones because it is so thin. It's like a water consistency but it's still very very opaque when you put it on and the applicator is a little point so you're really able to get a nice clean line and it just makes things so much easier and since it's so thin and lightweight it's very comfortable to wear it does dry down matte so if you don't like a matte lip you probably wouldn't like this but if you like a matte lip, you'll love this. It is a little pricey because it is NARS, but I think the formula is unique enough and the packaging is unique enough to kind of justify it, at least for me. I definitely want to pick up another one, maybe like a fun vampy color. That'd be nice. And then the other lipstick I picked up is from Bite Beauty, and this is their liquefied lipstick in the shade Whip. It's what I'm wearing right now, and I love this color. At first, I wasn't so sure about it because it's a little bit more nude than I was anticipating, but it has enough, like, peach and enough brown in it where it doesn't wash me out. And this liquid lipstick is nothing like the NARS because it doesn't dry down matte. It's literally as if you took one of their Amuse Bouche lipsticks and melted it and put it in this container. It's like, it's just like that, basically. And I love those lipsticks, but I also really like them in this because it's super creamy and malleable. It's obviously very comfortable since it doesn't dry down or anything, but still stays in place. The color is opaque, it's beautiful, it's comfortable. I love it. Another thing that I love is the Touch and Soul No Problem Primer. And this is a smooth, pore covering, top secret, perfect makeup primer. What? Smooth and pore covering, top secret for perfect makeup. Okay, that's what it says on the bottle. Um, I actually did a review on this on my blog, so maybe you guys have seen that. And if so, you already know I love this stuff. It is so good because it really does have that like smoothing effect on your skin, but unlike other you know pore filling primers, this is number one way lighter, especially compared to other pore filling primers that are a little bit more heavy. It's kind of like comparing like velvet to silk like in texture. And another good thing about this is it is so much cheaper than any of those other pore filling primers at Sephora. This is only $18 and I know like the Smashbox one is like almost 40 right? Which, I mean, that's insane. And I gotta say, I like this one better than the Smashbox one anyways. And yeah, this is fantastic. And the last makeup thing I picked up is a blush from Ciate London. This is their Glow 2 Illuminating Blush. That's what they're called. And I have the shade Summer Love. And this is just a really light... Like a light peachy pink with some gold shimmer in it, and I love it. I'm wearing it right now. I don't know if you guys can tell because my makeup's been on for a hot second, but it is super, super pretty. I will say, though, if you're somebody with a lot of texture on their cheeks, you might not like this just because it's so illuminating. It would kind of highlight the texture, um, but I think it's beautiful. I've been really enjoying it, and I feel like it's something that's different because it is so illuminating. Like, it's not one of those blushes that, like, says it's, like, illuminating, but it just has sparkle in it. This one does have actual glow to it and also the packaging is freaking adorable. So I like this. I want to get like a deeper color. I don't know which one yet but I do know I want to get another one. So clearly I must really like it. Okay let's talk skincare. So I have a lot of cleansers and we'll start with my solid cleansers. These are the Milk Makeup Matcha Cleanser and Matcha Toner. As you can tell, they're solid, they're in a stick, I think that's pretty cool, and these are really, really good for traveling because you don't have to worry about anything spilling or any of that, like, nonsense. Um, however, 
I'm not the biggest fan of the matcha cleanser just because it has all these little exfoliating little bits I guess we can call them in the actual cleanser and it's just I'm not into exfoliating that often I probably only exfoliate maybe once or twice a week max so with this having all those exfoliating beads I don't really gravitate to using it and then also if I did want to use this as an exfoliator I feel like it not like the best one out there like if I want to exfoliate my skin I'm going to use like my walnut scrub from Ole Hendrickson or my um what is it exfoliate that one's really really good from um Kate Somerville this one's just like yeah I, I don't think it's honestly necessary however the matcha toner is where it is at this is so good and in case you don't really know what a toner is it's basically what balances out your skin or at least helps balance out your skin so if you are super super oily or you're super super dry your skin is out of balance you want it to be normal or whatever is in like the middle you know what I mean so this is supposed to help with that and I really love this stuff because it's so easy to apply you literally just like rub it on your face and call it good it's very cooling and it feels just super lightweight and some toners kind of sting but this one doesn't obviously it's, like I said it's cooling so it does not sting it doesn't irritate and yeah I'm a big fan of and I don't think I've ever seen a solid toner before so something a little cool and different so I think the toner is totally worth it the cleanser not so much. Next I picked up a cleansing oil from Biosense and this is like my new favorite skincare range. I literally have almost everything from their range uh, which isn't saying much because they only have like five things but I mean that's still kind of saying something and I really like everything I've tried from them including the cleansing oil. So this is the Squalene and Antioxidant Cleansing Oil. It gently removes waterproof makeup and impurities. Now I don't really like to use this on my eyes just because it does kind of sting like a little bit um, and my eyes are a little bit more sensitive but for removing face makeup it works beautifully the oil is super lightweight and really just melts the makeup and just like gets everything off now I'm only down to here because I probably started using this maybe two weeks ago because I was trying to get through another cleansing balm which I did yay um, and I didn't want to have like two things going at once but I've been really enjoying this and a little bit goes a long way surprisingly I probably use only like three pumps of this for my entire face and it works perfect for me it doesn't leave me feeling like stripped or anything which is good and yeah I really like this and the last true skincare product we have to talk about is another cleanser and this is from the brand Neogen which is a Korean brand and this is their Canadian clay pore cleanser apparently this is made with Canadian colloidal cool mm, okay um glacial clay and I actually really like this cleanser it's so cool it comes with a little top bit that you need to keep on it and it seals it pretty dang good because this does react with oxygen and kind of bubbles up a little bit but this is what it looks like smells good I think and it's kind of like a whipped clay formula that you can use this as both a cleanser or a mask if you want to use it as a mask you just do a thicker layer and let it sit or you can just do a thinner layer cleanse it wash it off like any other cleanser but the reason why I like this is because sometimes I really want to do like a clay mask or I really want to like deep clean my pores but using a traditional clay mask or a traditional clay cleanser can kind of really strip my skin uh, especially if it's more on the dehydrated side that day but this I don't know why or how or what it doesn't strip my skin it leaves my skin feeling squeaky clean but it doesn't leave it feeling dehydrated or even more dehydrated than it was before and it really is unlike anything else I've ever tried. The only thing I really don't like about it is how the sticker is off-center. Kind of drives me nuts. But if that's the biggest complaint, I think we're doing okay. So yeah, this is pretty dang cool. Okay, moving on to some body stuff. So I picked up basically everything from the Sol de Janeiro line. And I love basically everything. I gotta say, I'm a sucker. This is like the most expensive lotion ever, but it is so, so good. I got both of these in a kit for $55, where this is, I think, $45, and this is like $25, $30, so that's a good deal, and I love both of them. Out of the three, like, bum bum items I have, these are my two favorites, so obviously the original lotion. It just smells really good, and a little bit does go a long way. I've had this for a month now, really over a month, and I've only used up maybe a quarter of it, so I think I'm doing pretty good. It says it's supposed to help with, like, firming, but whatever. I haven't seen that yet. And then I also have been really enjoying the Brazilian Foreplay Moisturizing Shower Cream Gel. I really only use this when I know I'm going to use this, because... 
them together. It just makes you smell like a Brazilian goddess, and I love it. As for the Brazilian crush, I like it, but I don't think it's necessary. You know? Like, if I only had the lotion and the body wash, I'd be totally cool. I mean, this stuff smells delish. It smells like, you know, everything else. And it just kind of enhances. But I never find myself just wearing this alone because I don't think it's strong enough for that. Um, so definitely go with the Bum Bum Cream and the body wash. You can skip out on this one. Now moving on to the items that are going to go back to Sephora. And they just did not work for me. They're not worth the money. I don't want them in my collection. First thing is what I am the most disappointed in. And I strongly hate with a burning passion. This is the IGK Low Key Cleansing Walnut Scalp Scrub. No. No, no, no. I thought this was going to be like the Christoph Robin Sea Salt Hair Scrub. That stuff's amazing. It's kind of like a cleansing shampoo for your scalp and just leaves your hair feeling amazing. This stuff left my hair feeling like I just left the beach and didn't decide to like rinse off or anything. And I'm not about that. Oh, my hair felt terrible. I had to wash my hair like that next night because I just couldn't take it. It's supposed to soothe and purify your scalp and conditioned your hair after you overindulged in styling, heat, and color. No, it did not. No, it did none of that. No, this is going back to Sephora. And the other two things that are going back to Sephora are both cleansing waters. This is the La Mer cleansing water and this is the Laneige cleansing water. I did a worth it video comparing um, these two cleansing waters to a drugstore and seeing which one is most worth it at their price point. And the drugstore one won by a landslide. The Laneige one isn't too expensive, it was under $30 but it just didn't really work, so it's going back. And then the La Mer one, this one cost me $50, and it's like the travel size. And the big size is $90, so uh, it's quite pricey. And it worked fine, but not for $50, so it's going back. Sorry. Okay, everyone, so that is everything for this Sephora haul update. I hope you guys liked it. If you did, please give me a thumbs up so I know, and subscribe if you haven't already. Don't forget. Anyways, that is everything for this video. I hope you guys have a wonderful day, and I will talk to you guys next time.